So now that we have our battery pack working, let's do uh, the casing. So we can put the battery pack aside. And the casing that you will receive consists of these parts. Top, bottom, handle, and cover. The bottom is already pre-assembled, meaning that you will have this part already screwed. This is for the locking mechanism. And here I've already put the seal, but uh, you, should, you, should, you should, might have to put it yourself. It would be in a separated uh, packaging. There are two seals, one on those, this part, and one on this part, okay? So place correctly the seal. You might need to push it at the bottom of the, of the groove. And once it's done, the first thing you have to do is put the cover. So the cover is this part. It has all the, the cables needed for the communication with the bike. It has the power cable. It has the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth cable and all the venting and charge discharge connector. So it's a packed uh, feature uh, and it's separated because depending on the brand, we might change this. So for example, if you have a Bosch battery, we might design one for the Bosch battery, one for the Panasonic and all that stuff. Here it's the generic, um, the generic connector. So let's put all those wires inside. And just be careful that none of them are pinched. Once you have this, you can make sure that it's well inserted and put those four little screws. Each of those parts. And you can screw. Don't need to force too much. Don't don't need like this. It's enough. Okay. 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 Well, that's good. Looking good. Once you've done that, you should place those cables like so, so they don't come in your way when you will put the pack inside. So there are some, some cavities here where you can put the cable there. So this is ready. No, I need to put the handle. The handle is quite easy. You just need to put those two screws at the moment. There are three screws in there. There are three screws total but the last one comes at the end okay so why is the handle not uh, already fixed on the casing it's because we enable you to choose the color of the handle so it's much easier if you can ship it separately so we're good here the top uh, part you don't have nothing to do uh, here is the the cover in plastic for the for the LEDs, so we can leave it this leave this aside for the moment. And now comes the part where you put the pack inside this part inside the the casing. So take it like this. So BMS at the bottom, and you see those parts. They will fit and center your pack inside. So here will go to this place, and in front you have those two here. So what you do is that first you place it like that and then, and, and then what you need to do is, is plug this little white boy here. Don't force, it should enter nicely and you should hear a click or feel a click. The second part is the antenna. The antenna is a bit more uh, difficult to plug, but you see there's a, a little plug here. I might bring it to the camera like this. So you have a little plug on top here of the ESP32. And here what you do is that you put it here and with your finger, once you're sure it's properly just in front, you have to help and you hear a little click. And the, 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 the cable should go between this uh, reboot button and the ESP32. That's the good way. 
Once you've done this, try to put the, those little cables in the center like this. And you can gently leave the pack go inside until the bottom, until it hits the bottom. And then it's quite simple. The red goes with the red. So it's Anderson connectors. You just have to put it like this. And like this. So now that you have uh, created your pack and you've uh, set it up, you should see again it's orange and it's blinking like all the four LEDs at, at the same time. It's not doing this pattern of uh, K2000, but it's orange and blinking all of them. That means that the battery needs to be configured because because you need to tell the BMS which cells are you using and which configuration it is. So in order to do that, you need to use either the app, so the MyGuash app. So it should, you should install it from the um, App Store and then you can enter this battery. You will find this menu first and you can scan for a battery. The only battery here is this one, so it's yours. You can connect. And sometimes there are a little glitch of connection. So be careful to have your antenna well plugged on the BMS. Otherwise, you will have some problems um, to, um, to connect it. And now here, you will, since it's never been set up, you will have a video explaining you how to set up, but it's this video that you are looking now uh, and you should and this is really important set which cell are you using in my case i'm, I'm using dmgc 32 e cells the the gray ones and so i will look for them in this list and select them if you don't find your cells send us a mail so that we can add them then you can set your bike controller. So here I'm using uh, a generic bike controller. It's not Bosch, it's not uh, Shimano, but here it's where you set it. And then the pack configuration. Here it's a 10S 4P. The other option would be a 13S 3P if you're using 48 volt. And now that you are ready to set them up, you see that the, the button is gray, it means that you cannot put you cannot set them like this. You need to prove that it's your battery. And in order to do that, you need to put it in root mode. And to do that, you need to press the reset button on the top of the BMS. You see it blinked a bit blue once, and now the button is okay to save. And as you see, we are saving the configuration inside the battery. It will reboot and thus disconnect. And now it should, re it should reboot in green. Now the battery is fixed green and it's working. It's properly set up. So each time you will need to change the cells uh, model, you will need to open the battery and click on this button. Now that the battery is, is properly configured, if you connect it, if you connect again, what you should see is all the parameters. So the name of the battery, the control type, the, the, the cell type, the pack configuration, real time data about the pack, the voltage, the current, the charge, cells, temperature, the state, if there are errors, you should see those errors in this place. If you, if you have a big error and you cannot read it, uh, what I suggest is use your phone in this way so you can read the error here. And then you can set, ah, sometimes there are a little glitch of connection. Ah, because the battery rebooted. 
the battery just uh, went uh, in sleep mode. So here I'm going to set my Wi-Fi. So if you have some uh, some connectivity problems like that, don't hesitate to kill the app. So use like this and kill it and then start it again and scan for the battery. Okay, and now it's time to set the Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi, add Wi-Fi, and here you put your SSID and your password and click Save. Then it should appear here and you should see connected and the name of the Wi-Fi to who it's connected. I suggest to set up your Wi-Fi at home for once in a whole, in, in, well, once, and after you can forget about this app. Uh, the good thing about setting up the Wi-Fi is that you will have uh, all the updates. Um, so if we develop a new protocol or if we increase the, some features, you will have access to them automatically. And you're nearly finished. To put the top cover, what you do, you should start. There are some little centering pins here. Here. Uh, oh, this one is broken. Uh, here and here. So you can start by the bottom. Make sure that the seal is still inside the right position. You don't want to pinch the seal. So you put it here. And it's finished, nearly. You need to screw the bottom screws. So there are only two long screws that go in the front. Here, here, and all the others are on the sides. Okay. And then you can start Okay. You can use a screwdriver, but don't put too much torque not to break the, the thread lock, the thread. I'd suggest for the first one, if it's the only one you have, it takes 10 minutes. Don't be too nasty. And as you screw, you can see that the casing gently connects and compresses the seal, which make it, makes it so waterproof. Maybe one here. Okay. Okay, as you can see, everything is neat. Okay, you can see the lead here. So it's not blinking again, huh? it's just the, 